Okay, you guys begged for it, asked for it, been pleading for it for a long time. The NX602 was out. It's been out for a few weeks now. 702 finally hit. Finally, finally, finally. NX702. There it is. The big dog. The NX702. What a beautiful piece, huh? Well, we'll see how beautiful she is after I'm done reviewing it. Just so you know what comes in the box, figured you might want to know. A couple manuals, two trim rings, remote control, ISO mount screws, two preamp harnesses, clips of cloth, remote. So if you buy one that's missing the remote control, you say, hey man, Martin at Lesco said it's there. I know it's there. It's in, picture. It's in the picture. I've seen it. Give me my remote. This model does come with a transmitter. And it comes with a big shiny screen. Well, let's set up and get this review started. Okay, so now here we are. The home screen of the NX702. Quite a sight. Such a beautiful screen. I don't think I've ever seen one so well color colored and illuminated. It's just so active. But there are some of your, your main choices. Your HD radio, which is built in. Lifetime built in. Your GPS. Your telephone. Your USB or iPods right there, Sirius right there, and your disc player, which should be a DVD, MP3, CDs, that kind of thing. This unit also has like a nice swipe feature, which I want to show you, as well as these quick tiles, which are very nice. Well, let me get right to it. Yeah. There's your iPod audio. The video is not connected currently, but it's just running my audio for right now because I just got a sync cable and you can see again you can kinda just touch for what you're looking for or just move it on away whichever way you're looking to go so it's very nice very interactive it's really something I tell you and you play it and get rid of that get yourself the full screen Now this song doesn't really have much text on it, but if it did, this would actually start to scroll, which is really cool. You always got your list. It's also got the search mode, so you can do alphab alphabetical, genre, song, artist, all that kind of th stuff. Now laid out on the bottom, there's a click button to the map, another one to open the monitor, which I'll show you. I put this trimming on there to make it look pretty, but... It's actually more trouble than it's worth because I didn't click it on properly. It's not Clarion's fault. She shuts down real nice. Right in here is a micro SD card, by the way. There's your eject button. That's where your disc would go. Very smooth, nice. They really took good care of making a nice large screen for this monitor. Your volume is laid out here and here. There's a minimalistic buttons going on down here. This illumination back here and in the backdrop as well as the wallpapers, you can import your own wallpapers, change your colors as well as the exterior to make it all flow. It's a very glossy black finish which is very attractive, very easy on the eye. It's got an ever such a slightly amount of chrome running across the bottom. It's like a little bar. It's really something. I mean, it, it it's just it's beautiful. It really is something. Um, Again, that home screen, you could do quick navigation icons like they like to leave you, or you could also customize this. You can hit a button, go to your shortcuts, um, take this, move it here, there, whatever you want to do. You could just grab it, move them all, all over the place, however you want it to be. Like when I go to the main screen, right, this is the factory default, but if you don't like that, I keep doing that. You got to kind of grab it. It's because I'm an un impatient person. Um, there's your second screen, USB SD, Bluetooth streaming audio, your rear dedicated camera input so that way if you're actually driving and you had something going on in the back, a trail or you were being you know followed by someone, friends or family, something like that, you could have your camera going on simultaneously in a minimal screen as well as a third zone, say like your GPS in one zone, satellite radio, camera, all simultaneously and you could also feed a second video zone for your kids all at the same time with this unit which is outstanding that's that's really multitasking at its finest and it's very clean very laid out very well um, I mean no one's gonna grab this radio turn it on and, and master it 
because this is the kind of unit that you really need to sit down on your couch for an hour or two and just learn and read. Sit in your car, educate yourself, just like I said with the NX602, nothing's, nothing's different. This one actually is a step beyond the 602. Um, similar, of course, but better. I mean, this one's got a lot more to offer you. Pandora, I already have that connected to my unit. I got my Honky Tonks, George Strait radio going on. Now you can see your artist's artwork right there. You got the scrolling text. What else do you need? You can even say if you like it or don't like it, put it on your social media. I mean, what's going on here? You could, you could do all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, what I really like to show you is something with this GPS. Now, this GPS, you can see, is far more advanced um, than the 602. I mean, I mean, look at that. That's, that's crazy. Um, it's all 3D. It, it's just, it's just unbelievable. I mean, you can see you got the Pandora up in the background. You always have your quick shortcut icon. You have your GPS. You could also talk to this unit. Hello. 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 Sorry, I did not hear you. Well, please try again. My voice hurts. I'm not gonna yell at you. Now, this one also has the true um, traffic, so if you have like road delays, um, you know, Department of Transportation has some kind of a thing going on, even if you have poor GPS, I mean, this does your gas logs, your mileage, customizable to the umpteenth level, I mean, it's, this thing is really sweet. You got all your map settings, your quick place settings, create your own route, you can stop, you know, make like little stops in between your route along the way, which is something that you can't do with a lot of units. Um, it shows you right here on screen if you have satellite, if you don't have satellite, whenever you need to speak to it, it's right there. Kind of like a Garmin feel, always has your speed, always tells you what zone you're on. Your menu, what are you looking for? Search by phone number, place on the map, you can drag it, and use your finger to get where you want to get. Coordinates, which nobody ever uses, because you know, who does that really anymore. But if you, if you did, you could do it, find an address. Take a look at here. Now your updates and extras. Let's take a look at that real fast. Navi extras. Go to Clarion.Navi extras for the most up-to-date maps and places and all that other nonsense. By the way, they give you a guarantee that you're going to get the latest, greatest maps when you get your unit. That's really something that's cool. This radio even has a calculator. Why? I have no idea. But like I've said about the new Clarions, they're computers on wheels. Fuel consumption, help. You can get a demonstration. You can sit there in your vehicle and just watch and learn from this unit. It will teach you your trip monitor. There's no data because I've never used this in a real application. But you can record your own trips, look back on things you've done, do them better. Um, even tells you what time the sun's going to go down. That's crazy. It's kind of like just going back to that MX602 review that I've done. There's your traffic receiver, all the event tapes, uh, event types. I'm sorry, detour routes, all pre-planned. So if you're on your way, something bad happens. This unit is intelligent enough to let you know something's happening. Let's do something. Let's go a different route. Let's look at that beautiful map once again. Pretty cool, huh? And like I said, you can just take your finger and just move it wherever you need to go. If you're looking for something, you can just go beep, I want to go there. Beep, I want to stop here. Beep, I want to stop right there. And it'll say, okay, you're here. We're going to go here first, B second, C third. That's it. Calculate it. Give you the best bang for your buck with the gas and everything else like that. Get you out of the traffic. What else could you ask for? All while you listen to your HD radio. Unbelievable, man. Again, let's go back to that regular menu. Bluetooth, we're not going to really go into. Um, SD card is straightforward enough. Auxiliary is just a composite RCA input. Nothing really exciting going on there. So if you want to feed an external media source video input, that's how it's done. Your Pandora USB, I've already touched on that. You could use an external flash drive or a real iPod, iPhone kind of thing. 
telephone laid out very nice I'd have to add my my phone and pair it of course before I start utilizing it but again this would import your phone book do it just like you would on a regular phone everything is very nice very large easy 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 to use auto connect auto answer your pin code mic and it's like saying hey come on let's go I know your phone's not paired let's do this I mean it's just that cool Again, here's that home screen, but we don't want to do that right now. What we want to do, there's your HD radio, by the way. Look how cool that is with the analog tuner. That is just so neat looking. And it tells you if you're on HD2 or HD3, what the cast, what the multicasting is. Option button. There's just so many features. It's like a feature within a feature. Every time you think you found a feature of what you're looking for, they give you another one. Okay, back to that old screen again. Home screen, I just wanted to show you some of the audio features. Your wallpaper, like I said, you can import it. You could turn your monitor on or off, so if it's annoying to you at nighttime, you could do that. Your illumination color, very straightforward enough. You could use one of the factory presets, customize, make your own. This BDQ Plus, I mean, Clarion's always kind of had that kind of a thing with that super bass feature, even since back in the days, since the 80s. I mean, I'm showing my age, I guess. Um, the, the shortcut menu I've already showed you. You can see it's kind of like juggle, switching the cards around there. Like it ain't nothing. I mean, you're never going to do it that fast, but you can do it. There's your settings. Okay, now you see, again, there's just one setting after another. I mean, if you're really like a geeky kind of person and you just want something to do, if you just like buttons, I mean, this unit is like totally for you. Your general, there's your language. Um... Your icons, illumination color, wallpaper, monitor angle, which you can change. You got six choices. I like it there, so that's where I'm going to leave it. Monitor angle, microphone, internal. You could also utilize an external microphone. Uh, turn the beep on, turn it off. Uh, blinking LED. Uh, if you have it off, it'll give you like that. I don't, I don't know if I kind of frown on that actually. Um, system software it tells you the version so you know if you got the, the best stuff out there. And there's your clock, simple enough. Sound, now this is important. BDQ Plus, you could turn this on, defeat it, turn it on, make it active, adjust that within a separate screen. Your balance, again, very simple, laid out very clean, nice. Um, that's my kind of thing, the sound, I mean that's what it's all about. So with control, Increase the volume up and down from that right there. And cancel. I'm not going to get into that. It's, that's kind of like a long story. Time alignment. Now in here, you could adjust it kind of like how you would in a home theater. If you had your center channel, you had you, your couch sits too much to the right, you need to emphasize the left a little bit more, your rear left, your, your fill sounds. All this kind of stuff can be done right from this screen. Um, now here's all your X-overs. just stands for a crossover. Now in here, you could set up high pass filter. You could set it up where you, if you wanted to um, have your rear fill, you just want it to be 600 hertz to like 10,000 hertz, and you don't want anything above or below. You can actually create that within this unit and have a more simple amplifier, or you could overlap your filters from this on top of an external amplifier and just get really esoteric with this unit. You can go crazy with yourself in here. I mean, there is just so much of everything, and that is just so awesome for me. I love that. And I have never seen any kind of unit out there to date that has all of this thing that this unit offers. It doesn't. It doesn't exist. Not even my own radio. Actually, I'm starting to get a little pissed. I wish I did have that. There's your display. Dimmer mode. Auto day night. Most guys are going to leave it on auto so that way when you cut your lights on, a light will come down at nighttime. You know, daytime, get brighter. Or if you want to adjust it manually, you can do that too. Um... There's your setup for all your different sources. Turn it on, turn it off, so you can actually eliminate some of these shortcuts entirely from the home screen. Do whatever you want to do. Password, so in case some, you know, hopefully you should never have to use that, but you know, if the time ever arose, I would enable it. Um, I mean, just it just goes on and on and on. I mean, you got this, you have um, 
the quick shortcut icons. I mean, this thing has everything. It has everything in the NX602, and if you haven't watched my review of the 602, definitely do it because I'm sure that uh, half the stuff that I miss on this one, I would pick up on the 602 and vice versa. So if you're tor you know, torn between getting the 602, if you want to spend a couple extra hundred bucks and get the 702, watch both to educate yourself and get a right, better idea of which one might be best for you. And after I cut this off, I'm going to turn this unit around just to show you the rear, so what you could expect as far as connections on this unit. Now, as with any unit I ever review, I never like to see something skimpy in the rear of the unit. I always like to see more than I'm ever going to want to have to use, and Clarion did it for sure. Here is your GPS antenna right here. Put two hands on it. If you ever needed to add an antenna, or just know for your own fact if it actually would match your antenna, because so many of these are so standardized that you could actually just plug yours in exactly. I actually I know that mine for my JVC would actually fit that exactly the same way. They're almost becoming very standardized. Now back here, of course, you have your 16-pin plug, which is basically just your power accessory, illumination, telephone mute, amp turn on, power antenna turn on and four pairs of speaker output leads. Very straightforward, nothing crazy going on over there. Antenna input, GPS we talked about. And in here, I'm not really um, for it or against it. I don't have any opinion on it. I, I, I don't know, these, these plugs, there's a whole lot of plugs. There's a lot going on here. I mean, of course, it's good like I say it is. I, uh, you know, but then again, if I was installing this unit and I had to make a change and I had to unplug it and plug in all these things, so many of these plugs all kind of look very similar. You know, and, and I hate to see somebody try to put this four pin in that six pin and kind of like make it, you know, fit. That would be a bad thing. So for me, probably not, not a huge fan of it. I, I guess that's just me. But then again, um, I'm not a fan of unplugging RCEs and breaking those because that happens too. So you know what? It, it works for you and against you. I guess it's just personal preference. But back here, one plug, like I was mentioning about the Sirius. Just plug it into your V200, satellite radio is done. Mount your antenna, it's over. Three sets of 4 volt preamp outputs for your front rear and subwoofer for preamp outputs. The sub is actually a true stereo output, as of course it's the front and rears. Now this one here, steering wheel controls. So if you want to plug it in, directly hardwire. You don't have to do it the old fashioned way anymore. Not with this unit, you don't. And over here, your AV input, dedicated camera inputs, and of course you have your sleeve outputs, inputs, and you can also use this for an external microphone should you choose to use it. So you have lots of choices. Also you get this remote control, full featured, fits very well in your hand. I like it. It's a good remote control. It's not too wide, not too tall. It's almost just right. Hard to lose. So. All in all, just like the 602, it's a killer. I like it.